Here uh, what we are looking is nothing but the data isolation and integrative problems. Yeah, it is uh, isolation means uh, the data is being isolated, isolated at one place. And integrity, integrity is nothing but the oneness or uniqueness problem. See, for example, if the data is available uh, here, what it is shown that there is a program written in C as well as a program written in COBOL. Here the programming is done and both are hammering the document which contains the data, right, for example. And if they are uh, following the same query now, if both the programmers, if this is user number one who with the help of C program and here is user number two with the help of the COBOL program firing the same query, firing the same query firing or fetching the same data which is from the new document then the if if uh, then the deadlock can occur deadlock can be occur of the data and the system can hang up so th this was the problem in the file processing system that if you uh, there was the integrity and isolation problems so uh, that's why it is very important to solve uh, that problem it is one of the acid properties of the database a for anonymity, C for concurrency, I for isolation, and D for uh, and D for uh, D for degree D for I don't know D for what, but uh, it is one of the acid properties. So hope uh, in the next problem and what is the next problem? Uh, next is atomicity problems. You know what happens in atomicity problems is. Uh, here is one server and uh, here is another server so here is a bank data transmission problem here is a user uh, a user is sitting over here and he is doing the transaction transaction of what he is for example uh, transaction of uh, transaction of money transfer money transfer if he is doing a money transfer of say for example he is transferring money from Mr. X to Mr. Y. He is transferring 100 rupees. Now, if once he will put the request, the request is going to go to server number one. But in atomicity problems, what happened? The, the data get lost. Data get lost, and it doesn't go to, for example, if the bank server is uh, bank server is here, and the request doesn't go over here, and uh, the manager who is available here is not able to pass uh, solve that problem the data get lost due to atomicity problems uh, because lot of transactions are taking place so this problem is another uh, bigger problem uh, here third is concurrency access uh, concurrent access anomalies means uh, here is one server and both the users are uh, working on that uh, user number one and user number two they are concurrently accessing the same data concurrent means simultaneous simultaneous or both at the same time at the same time they are accessing the same query same accessing the same query then it becomes uh, then the system become systems hangs up and the animal is created the error is created in the database so this is another kind of problem in file processing system. Now here the security problems. Now security problem is what? For example, uh, here is a person who is at the territory level. Uh, his example is a territory manager. Here the person is the zonal manager. And uh, example here is the country head. Country head. Now they have got the uh, employee information or some data over here. Now this data is required by all these officers, these three officers, one, two, and three. Same data is required, but the access level is different. You know, access level is different. He will be able to see 100% of data available. He will be able to see only 50% of the data, and he will be able to see only 10% of the data. So there is there is always uh, what to show and uh, what to show and what to hide so what to show and what to hide that is the bigger area of concern 
for the database administrators you know so it is very the file and the file uh, processing systems uh, had the security level problems also so f is to solve these problems uh, rdbms came into existence so we'll show how this problems were being solved in the future slide you know why data is required database creates nothing but a peace of mind a peace of mind in the in the businessman's head in the employee's head who which, which is working in the customer's head who is being associated with that company in the society it creates a peace of mind if the data is if data is proper if data is perfect it creates peace of mind if data is secured if data is backed up it creates a peace of mind it reduces the workload it reduces the workload and hence hence the trust factor increases if you deal with the data more perfectly and uh, you can grow very faster you can grow at a very faster rate hope so uh, you understood what are the limitations of the file uh, of the file processing systems thank you